Hey, hi, welcome to my incident management interview questions. Everyone, this is Mahesh Pandey. I've been in industry for the last 21 years. I've been training the, on IT service management across the world. And I'm sure this session is going to be really beneficial for you, those who are going for interviews related to service desk, incident management, problem management, incident coordinator, as well as various roles in industry on IT service management. So let's get going. Who am I? This is me, a brief about me. And we will move ahead now into the respective questions that you are going to get in your interview. What is incident? Incident you can define in a simplest manner is any interruption or disruption to normal, ser normal IT services. A disruption to normal IT service. Then what is IT service? IT service where you have the network services, systems, application, voice, database, as well as end user support related service, okay? Now let's take an example of incident incidents. Incidents can be where you have a router down, firewall down, users are unable to access some system, maybe a CRM or the maybe a billing system could be any service that they are not able to access. Can be a payroll service, can be a ERP service, can be an HRM service. So they are not able to access that. Incident can be reported by users as well as the technical team who will observe the, of course, the functioning, non-functioning or malfunctioning of the systems and they can register incidents, okay? I hope you got the examples as well. So what is incident repeating? Is the disruption to the normal IT services. Examples for that, you should understand the IT infrastructure that includes your software and hardware, all right? So what is incident management? Incident management is, the prime, prime purpose of incident management is to restore the service as soon as possible. Now, what do you mean by restoring the service as soon as possible? To reduce the business impact and improve the productivity, any occurred IT services incident that needs to be restored. That does mean, for example, a server having four virtual machines. Each virtual machine is catering to particular server or maybe a functionality or application. There are 1,000 users connected to each server. That means 4,000 users are down for an hour. Imagine the loss to business. I repeat, imagine the loss to the business. Hence, if you restore that service as soon as possible, it will give the business a huge benefit. Incident management objective. One, you have meeting SLEs that your organization that is IT service provider can be internal or external. Sign an SLEs with your client. You need to meet those SLEs, right? That is one. Client satisfaction, okay? Improvement in the business productivity. So these are some of the activities of your, the objectives of your incident management. What are inputs to incident management? Inputs can be that a phone call, email, or a web tool that you may have, like IT service management tool can be example. The service now, maybe HP, HP Center, Service Center, BMC Remedy. You may have many other tools that are, of course, generating the events. You may have event management tool that can raise an incident and that can be restored as the process that you have defined. Now, these are some of the inputs. Can be incidents from coming from your client or a supplier. Think of a supplier incident where you have a telecom link or a bandwidth link. The bandwidth link is down. Bandwidth link is down. You will have an impact to your services as well. You will not be able to send traffic across your clients or you will not be able to allow the traffic to come in if there is a bandwidth down or bandwidth impact. I hope this is clear to you. The, what are the inputs to incident management? Incident management process activities. Now, this is a typical question. Now, here you can answer this is in a different way. You can give an answer with 
the there can be five standard activities are defined to restore the service or you may have defined 10 activities or maybe more it all depends organization to organization where key activities of incident management log categorize prioritize diagnose resolve and communication so these are some of the activities if you want to properly define that then identification log categorize prioritize diagnose allocation of that incident to right resolver group resolution if not resolve escalation as well as pushing people to restore that and then the communicate to the user update the knowledge base and close so these are some of the activities that you can define for incident management process activities scope of incident management now next this question is something which is tricky when you say scope scope you will consider all it services or you may consider all incidents in the organization that is not right you need to understand the defined scope in an organization for it services incident management why it services incident management does mean what are it services network systems application database voice communication print services end user support these are all it services is that okay and we have learned that as well okay now you may say that organization may say that they have information security incidents should also be logged with it incident management process that's fine you should map with that your understanding and record those incidents and act accordingly some organization says that there is a engineering team that takes care of power supply as well as cctv so in such cases for example also you may say biometric the retina scan devices all that such type of incidents can also be recorded through your it incident management process so keep that in consideration now this is next question is based on what is correlation of service level management and incident management process this question generally come up to an incident manager okay role now correlation or you may say they may ask you for your understanding they want to test you interviewer want to test your understanding about service level as well as incident management remember the incident management process activities what we said identify log categorize prioritize when i say prioritize prioritization is based on the impact and urgency where we define priority 1 2 3 4 we have a response and resolution time what do you mean by that you these are sles what is the purpose of service level management purpose of service level management is to define the sles between the service provider and client which is mutually agreed now those sles needs to be actually of course met now which is the process process is incident management we are restoring those incidents or we are meeting those sles with by restoring the service as soon as possible through incident management so that is a correlation you have a incident management process activities within that you have a sla is defined what you have committed to your client this is what is a correlation i hope this is clear this will help improve the productivity as well as avoid the penalties that is defined through your service level agreements okay next question what is incident model now those who understand it services for example network systems application voice database now these are different it services now how the incidents for the it service all it services and you have a model can be a same no it cannot be so that is mean if you create incident categorization in in terms of network in network you have a lan and wan when you say lan type of incident wan type of incident, whom to allocate how to chase in terms of closure that incident coordinator will it will be e very easy so as you will be able to resolve those incidents properly 
those who know incident categorization well for them incident model is very simple if the organization is creating those incident models for network systems application database type of incidents for them it is very easy to meet sles provided you have right people and tools and activities are defined and they have given proper training so this is going to be a sa life saving for the organizations who are working on incident management activities only is that okay how escalation works in incident management there are two types of escalations one functional second hierarchical functional escalation example within server management team there is l1 l2 l3 now for example for prioritize priority 4 you have response time is 120 minutes resolution time is 480 minutes in this case what can be done you can have 50% of the time will be given to l1 team l1 team will take 50% time to resolve priority 4 type of incident okay now if that they are not able to resolve then incident will be automatically allocated to l2 they may get 2 hours or you may say 50% remaining time will be given to l2 after 100% lap or a 50% lap or maybe 75% that means 50% has gone out of 8 hours to l1 maybe you may give 2 hours then in that case 75% time has lapsed after that it will go to l3 some organization says that 50% time will be there with l1 and 50% time will be there with l2 and only breached sla that such type of incident will go to l3 and that may be an arrangements in your client contract so you need to understand so this is what is we said functional escalation then why the hierarchical escalation hierarchical escalation works when you have a you need to have one is push to people technical people one for resolution as well as interacting with your client and management giving them the right updates and confidence that these type of incidents are being taken care i hope that means you may have assistant manager manager and senior manager when l1 it is the incident is still l1 functional you may have an the incident manager that is or you may say assistant manager incident management is pushing for resolution when it goes beyond that means you have defined time of after 4 hours your manager is going to come incident manager is going to come and push after 75% or 100% you may have a senior manager is going to look into that escalation from a hierarchical point of view so there are two type of escalations one functional and hierarchical give me some incident management process improvement examples this is in general you will have a question for incident management role or incident manager role example in this for example i have one more question before that i have one slide for you okay this is a traditional in it infrastructure where you have a users and they are connected to an access layer switch core switch crm database firewall router and you have all those links now in this case what is happening for example you have 5000 users in a month there are two incidents logged by each one of them that means 10000 incidents recorded now these 10000 incidents are like quite a huge numbers isn't that true and if you take an improvement initiative by 5% improvements in your number of incident okay here if you reduce that obviously it will go, it is going to become 500 incidents that is an example of your improvement your in your incident management i hope this is clear so this is one of the example you may take various examples 
in terms of you may have a two bandwidth links one is consistently going or intermittently going down through which you are taking it you can say top 10 incidents categories that you are pulling out and you are improving based on that identifying the top 10 incidents and taking appropriate action trend analysis another example of your incident management improvement okay these are some of the examples of your incident management can you tell me kpis of incident management okay now kpis key performance indicators now those who know incident management process activities like identify log categorize prioritize diagnosis allocation resolve update user communicate of course uh, the of course a communicate user and then update knowledge base and close in this case number of incident logged is one of the kpi number of incident close number of openings these are three kpis you can define the kpis based on your improvement requirement for example you want to track first call resolution based on the diagnosis the fifth activity that you have to identify log categorize prioritize diagnose and sixth activity is your allocation before you allocate you probe the users you have a knowledge base based on which you are trying to resolve the incident there you have you can define the kpi what is the kpi the first call resolution percentage of incident resolve with first call resolution that can be a kpi you can also have a kpi number of incident resolved within sla number of incident violated slas what you have defined based on the prioritization so all these are the different types of kpis that you can define in incident management thank you i hope you like my incident management interview preparation session after watching this video you should prepare your own notes watch it again and make easy to remember examples i'm sure you will clear your incident management interview in first attempt also leave your comments for the topics that you want me to make the videos and help you grow in your career hey before you go don't forget to like subscribe and click on the bell icon i wish you all the best.